There's one major truth that you need to realize about the sales engineer job search. And in this video, I'm explaining that in depth and I'll also give you five tips on how to turn that search into an action plan that will land you that SE job interview quicker. Landing an interview for a sales engineer job is a serious amount of effort and you need to treat that effort as regular work. That's right, a job search is a job in itself and you need a well-structured plan that you execute day in and day out. It doesn't have to be a full-time job, especially if you already have a paid work, but you have to treat it as work and not something you just do on the side. And being committed is really the key to success. In fact, the SE job search has many elements of the sales engineer's job. You're building your network of contacts at companies you're targeting, continuously improving your skills and acquiring new skills, cold calling and emailing to build a pipeline of job opportunities. SE job search is a sales job where you are selling your own skills and experience to potential employers. And here are the five most important things that I do when I'm on a job hunt. Number one, establishing a routine. Routine brings structure and order and allows you to focus on the job search. And what I mean by that is try always doing it at the same time of the day, at the same physical place, and going through the same process, just like you do any regular paid job. And my process looks pretty simple. I'm working on my social profiles, I'm improving my own skills, I'm researching companies and job vacancies, I'm networking to build connections at these companies I'm targeting, and finally I'm adapting my CV and cover letter and sending these applications out. And you might adapt your routine over time, but it's important to start early on with one because it will give you a sense of progress you're making with your job search. Number two, improve your social profile. And this is a big part of my daily routine. And you should be doing this even if you are not actively searching for a job. And what I mean by social profiles is not Instagram or TikTok. If you do have those, make sure that whatever image you're projecting there is not in stark contrast to the company's culture you're targeting. Most recruiters will actually look you up on LinkedIn even before reading your CV. Is your LinkedIn profile up to date? Are you posting your own content or commenting maybe other people's content? And how well are you connected with people from your industry? And in fact, it's best to put your profile on LinkedIn address or URL directly on your CV. And besides LinkedIn, there are other very relevant platforms that companies will look you up, like GitHub. Having projects on GitHub is a huge deal because being able to code and do hands-on work can be a really important part of the SEO job and your projects on GitHub are social proof for that. But if you don't have time to do projects from scratch, you can fork other people's projects and add your flavor to it, or just start maintaining an existing repo and make sure you include your GitHub handle on your CV so that the recruiter can look you up on GitHub too. To illustrate how important GitHub can be, here's an anecdote from my past. I have a number of projects on GitHub and I was once in a job interview process for a really cool startup that has a product that's right in my area of expertise. And they told me that they had a look at my GitHub projects and had no questions or doubts about my technical skills at all. This effectively helped me completely skip that technical challenge part of the job interview process. And the next platform is Medium. Medium has become one of the most important IT and tech blogging platforms. And it's a great place to build your profile by posting stories. And they don't have to be very technical, they just need to be original and adding value. I've only recently started posting on Medium and I see that if the content is right, the community is very vibrant and you'll attract a lot of readership pretty quickly, which is a social proof that you are generating content which is relevant for the industry. And finally, YouTube. Having a portfolio on YouTube is going to make a much bigger impression on the recruiter than your CV is. Not many sales engineers actually create content for YouTube, so this is a big chance for you to stand out from the crowd. And you should combine these platforms for the maximum effect. Post code on GitHub, write about that on Medium, make the demos and film them and post them on YouTube, and finally brag about that on LinkedIn. I guarantee you, you'll be way ahead of the competition the next time you apply for a sales engineering job. The better your social profiles become, the more it drives the company's interest towards you. And this is exactly where you want to be. You want companies chasing you and offering you jobs instead of you chasing job vacancies. And it's now been 14 years 
since I've actually worked on a job where I applied myself for. All the other jobs I had since then either came through companies approaching me or through referrals by ex-colleagues and friends. Number three, protocol everything. Have a diary of all the related job search activities that you do daily. You're going to be talking to a lot of people, sending a lot of CVs out in different versions, contacting people on LinkedIn, exchanging messages, being rejected, being accepted, being in different stages of interviews with different companies. So it's really important that you have a good protocol of what's going on currently. Having a paper trail of what you're doing is going to help to minimize errors, basically things that can make you look not very professional. And as you revisit those events, you'll be able to prepare better for the upcoming job opportunities. Hey there, a short break before I go to number four. My name is Sasha and I'm working as a senior sales engineer for a leading cloud software company. I'm making these videos in my spare time in order to help others become better sales engineers. And you can also help others too by liking this video and subscribing to my channel so the YouTube algorithm suggests it to others as well. And number four, improve existing skills and acquire new ones. You'll never take all the boxes on a job description. It's just not possible. I've been in this industry for almost 20 years and even if, according to others, I'm very good at my job, I still don't tick all the boxes. But you can work on improving or acquiring the skills that are important for a given job. But how do you know which ones are important? Well, it's in human nature that when we are making lists, we usually put the most important things on top of the list. So let's say a job description includes the three following skills in the given order. Python. SQL and JavaScript knowledge. It's very unlikely that you can land this job if Python, which is on top of the list, is not your strongest skill. But you still may land this job if you're very good at Python but have zero JavaScript experience. There's tons of free learning resources online on any given topic. You've found this video, haven't you? So you can find anything else and don't always reach for the wallet. Paid content doesn't have to be better. And tip number five, expanding your network. We used to apply for jobs by sending out CVs and cover letters. We still do that, but the game has changed a lot and that's not nearly enough anymore. We now have a lot more means at our disposal at researching those vacancies, those companies, making contacts with those companies and getting to present ourselves informally before formally sending out the CV and applying for the job. Two most likely ways to land a job interview are you get referred by a contact you have in the company you're targeting or that company actively approaches you and offers you a job interview. You can achieve this by maintaining great social profiles and expanding your network. If you're just sending CVs out cold, sadly the chances of you getting invited to a job interview are next to none. There's just too many people doing the exact same thing and it doesn't really matter how stellar your CV is. So reach out to your contacts or establish new contact with the HR people from the company or your future peers to ask them about the specifics of the job or to hiring managers. Companies know that the quickest and the cheapest way to hire good staff is through referrals. So they financially reward their employees for referring people. So get those employees to work for you and land you that job interview. And finally, here's a secret tip on how to help your CV not land at the discard pile. Have a professional photo done for your CV. CVs with an amateur photo or missing photo land in the discard pile at 99%. 0.99% of the cases. So don't land in the waste basket, get a professional photo done. Give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section if you've started using any of these tips. I'm genuinely interested to understand if I'm helping you. Subscribe to Better Pre-Sales for more content like this. Stay healthy and stay tuned.